Hey, this is Pixel Pause. Welcome to my second LoRa Manager update blog. This update focuses on two key nodes, but these changes make working with LoRa's even smoother. Before we dive in, for anyone who doesn't know LoRa Manager yet, Comfy UI LoRa Manager is an awesome tool that makes organizing, managing, and using your LoRa's faster, smoother, and easier. It allows you to organize and move your LoRa's however you like. With folder tags and search, you can find any LoRa instantly and preview them at a glance with images auto-fetched from Civitai. You can download LoRa's directly from Civitai and use them instantly, no node refresh required. One-click copy lets you add LoRa's to your workflow effortlessly with preset strengths and trigger words applied automatically. You can also toggle trigger words and fine-tune LoRa strength with ease. Now let's take a look at what's new. First, the LoRa Loader node, which I introduced in the last video, has received major enhancements. Let's add some LoRa's to it. As you can see, there's now a new visual widget that makes adjustments much easier. You can toggle individual LoRa's or all of them at once, adjust strengths using the left and right buttons, enter values manually, or quickly remove a LoRa. If you delete a LoRa, it will also be removed from the input text field automatically. One of the best new features is the image tool tips, which allow you to preview each LoRa directly in the node. No more trying to remember file names. And here's a little teaser. Some of you might have noticed the new Save Recipe option in the context menu. This is an exciting feature planned for the next major update. It's going to be a big one and a real game changer, so stay tuned. The second major addition in this update is the new trigger word Toggle node. When connected to the LoRa loader, it gives you full control over which trigger words are included in your prompt. Simply click a trigger word tag to enable or disable it, and the changes will take effect in the next execution. That's it for today's update. It's been a busy but exciting week, and I appreciate all your support. If you found this update helpful, please like the video, share it, and subscribe to my channel for future updates. I always welcome feedback. So if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment or open an issue on GitHub. All the relevant links are in the description. See you next time.